Okay, today is Friday the 10th of August. So yeah, we met her just in the buffet, breakfast buffet, getting some lunch boxes to take with us. Yeah. And today we are off to a new country, Kyrgyzstan. So uh, we just spent an extra day here because it was quite a nice hotel really when we turned up. We had a swimming pool, all oh, that was very nice. So uh, yeah, so we took a resting day, now we're ready to go to the border. Have about 40 kilometers to do to the border. And it will go uphill. Oh yes, uphill yes, yes. It's not easy, not easy, easy. It's slow to go. One thing about Uzbekistan is you have to register. You stay at a hotels every second day, which means that by the end of a 30 day visa here, you've got a whole passport full of different papers and registration slips from all kinds of hotels. Uh, not easy just to go around wall camping here in Uzbekistan. You need to register in hotels and stay in hotels. So nice and early, quarter past six, back on the road. met our friend Esther, the lady from Switzerland, if you remember. We met her in Bukhara and Samarkand, which is also uh, arrived in Antidijon yesterday, crossing the border like we are today and going to Osh. So uh, we just bumped into her on the road again, that was good. I will probably see her again later in Osh. So, uh, she's making good progress as well. Turn right here, and Kyrgyzstan is at the end of this road. Yeah. Osh is 25 kilometers from here, so not too far. Mm. Really, we have to cycle today to get to us. Water should be in about 15 kilometers, something like that. So we've got the final, final road of, of uh, Uzbekistan, happens to be the smoothest and the nicest. <laughs> Bustling down here, full of light. Yeah. Oh, we just came through a bustling town there, Hodjabad, I think it was called. It's, uh, it's the most Islamic town we've seen so far. Everybody was wearing uh, Islamic dress. It'll be like being back in Iran again there. It's a bustling market we saw right through the town. People buying and selling their goods. Very uh, interesting place to see. Oh, just stopping for a quick breakfast break before we get to the border. They know about 10 kilometers from the border, so it's on the picnic table here. And, uh, some nice mountains over there now appearing. So, mm -hmm. well, man, you can see walking there. You just. Uh, Walked down the road, walked into the trees over there and came back with some fruits for us. <laughs> yeah, so. that is very fun. I think in Danish it's called blomme. It's this kind of fruit. Hmm. So that was a nice break here. Next stop, Kyrgyzstan. 
We just met Esther from Switzerland. Once again, she pulled up as we were having a breakfast. <laughs> so we'll see you again at the border maybe and then wash later. Can we get to Kyrgyzstan? We should see also other cyclists because I think Kyrgyzstan is the third or fourth best country in the world as rated by long distance touring cyclists. So I think uh, Turkey was the seventh best rated country where Kyrgyzstan is higher. I think it's three or four. I'll check later. But, uh, very popular place for touring cyclists. seen the video from Iceland, Jeremy was talking about the wild plan last year, next, last year. Yeah. this time last year that we were going to bike all the way to Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, no! <laughs> we are two kilometers or five kilometers before to the border. And <laughs> it's very impressive. He did it, nearly. <laughs> Kyrgyzstan, which we are going to now, that's the last country for us in Central Asia because from Kyrgyzstan the plan is to fly to India because we do not have a, a visa for China and if you're biking then the route goes through China I've well, been cycling in many countries that have the ending Stan um, next one will be the last stand we go to. And, uh, there's seven stands in uh, Central Asia. And the word stand it comes from Istan, which is a Persian word, basically means land. Um, so it's like land of the Uzbeks, lands of land of hello, land of the Kazakhs. So uh, countries like Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan. Kyrgyzstan, Pakistan, Afghanistan. So all these kind of places end in Stan, which basically means land. We don't see any uh, containers or bins here in uh, Uzbekistan. We haven't seen that at all, hardly. Um, it's very strange and in <laughs> Greece and Turkey there was containers everywhere. So it's easy to get rid of your rubbish, but not here. Well, you don't see any rubbish really. Not much anyway. Welcome to Kyrgyzstan. We're here. <laughs> and now we are in Kyrgyzstan. And uh, yeah, the good thing is uh, tourists can come first in queue, and the other people from the all countries need to be uh, uh, give place to the tourists. Yeah, that so was that good service. Yeah, that yeah, went quite well, really. No problems. Uh, here we are. And it's funny, like the crossing the border here and crossing from uh, Turkmenistan to Uzbekistan we see a lot of women I think uh, crossing the borders maybe with some goods to sell on the other side or something we, yeah. we guess traders yeah the lady coming there yeah okay there we are let's go to Osh ah new country to explore You just go over a border and within seconds everything changes. All of a sudden the cars are different, no more sooty cars. The sooty and sweep cars there, everybody drove around here. Look at that. Just seen a few Mercedes and Audis. <laughs> Lexus, Mercedes. I've seen anything like that for a long time in Spanish town. Yeah. 
Tess guest house. This is in Osh. It's an also a place where other touring people come. I see there's a few trucks there. A bit on the Pamay Highway by the looks of it. So uh, there we're here. It's one o'clock. So that was uh, riding done for today. There we're here in five Osh. Five. Five yeah. So that's it. We made it to Kyrgyzstan. Ah, now we can have a rest. So now we're going around doing all the practical things whenever you change a country. Just been to the bank, changed some money. Just been to here. Beeline, this is a tele mobile telephone shop. And we just got the cheapest SIM card ever. It cost uh, 9 krona or 90 pence for a 4 gigabyte SIM card. <laughs> and that's actually with the SIM card and the data. It all works. So we actually bought two, one for each telephone. <laughs> yeah. so. That will be very good. That's, um, that price was in Denmark and England. That was, that will be very good. Yeah. So now we've got a lot of internet for very little money. So that was good. Mm -hmm. That's it. Next thing to do is find some lunch. It's five o'clock, but we'll have lunch now. I think it's dinner. Yeah, it'll be dinner now. So, okay, let's go and have a look a little bit of Osh. Our next project, you see how Kyrgyzstan food tastes like. Let's go and have a look at this place. Yeah, this looks like a good place. I see something new. <laughs> in Uzbekistan, all we could get really was meat and kebabs, maybe sometimes a few vegetables. But here, in Kyrgyzstan, you can actually get salmon, you can get spaghetti, you can get all kinds of drinks, beer, Budweiser, sausages. <laughs> a completely different menu just to go uh, 50 kilometers down the road, over the border, and it looks like this. Looks like they like sweeping here as well. Okay, so we made it here to Osh and Kyrgyzstan. Um, yeah. Biking went quite easy today, only, only 50 kilometers, so not that much really. And then the border crossing went easy, and uh, no problems really, pretty smooth. No uh, border guards to pay bribes to, they're all very helpful, helping lifting our bikes over the fence and uh, guiding us through, so it all went really well. So, so now we're here in Osh. Osh, this is a place where people usually. Uh, rest when they come down from Murgab on the Pami Highway. So they come down from 4,600 meters all the way down here to to uh, 1,000 meters and have a rest here in Osh before they tackle uh, Kyrgyzstan. But uh, yeah, we missed out on that fun. But now we'll pick up uh, the adventure again in Kyrgyzstan. So there's lots of uh, good adventurous roads to ride on, lots of places to camp, lots of... Uh, mainly, mainly people come here for the mountains and the scenery. Don't come here for the, the cities. It's all, uh, all about the outdoors, wild nature, staying in uh, things called yurts, the kind of tents that uh, you can stay in up in the mountains. And so that's why we came here. So uh, we'll have a resting day tomorrow or planning day tomorrow here. We'll just get settled and then we'll be off on the bikes. So um, that's it for now. We're in Kyrgyzstan. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow in Osh.